So what if you were sick and not COVID sick, but sick enough to go to the doctor and he gave you two choices. You could take a pill every day and it had a 20% effectiveness rate, or you could do these four steps every day and it would have an 80% effectiveness rate. Which would you choose? Well, of course you pick the 80%. You want to feel better, get back into your life, and move on, right? So why, why, why are you spending all of your time on job boards, modifying your resume, customizing your cover letter just to get ghosted? When you know that 80% of jobs are found and secured through networking. So if you know that 80% of your, you've got an 80% chance to solve all of your career problems right now, why aren't you doing it? Well, because networking sucks, right? You feel like a total loser sometimes and you don't know what to say and it's inauthentic and it's just some people would rather have a root canal than actually network. But some of you are also gonna say, I tried networking, but people don't respond. You get ghosted, or they say they're gonna do something and they never do. Or you just feel like, how do I keep the conversation going after the first conversation? What if there was a better way? What if there was a way for you to network in a way that felt authentic, that didn't make you feel like a giant loser, and got you your dream job? Don't think it's possible? Uh, hang on a second, I got a story for you. I'm gonna share a story from one of my clients. Her name is Anne, and she's a researcher. And she is actually the president of the Introverts Anonymous Club. And I am telling you, networking sent her into complete panic. I mean, we're talking Xanax, anxiety, panic. And so the thought of having to network to get a job was the worst thing possible. But the one thing she did love was data and statistical models, and she could geek out better than anybody you know. And when she started to talk to other people that geeked out around the same things, it felt natural. She loved it. And guess what? One of those conversations landed her her next role and a $30,000 increase while she was at it. And it didn't hurt one bit. So when you talk about what you love to do, not what you do, the whole conversation changes. And you need to build a plan so you are in front of people 80% of the time and cruising the job boards 20% of the time. And then you want to make sure, like Anne did, get really clear on your value. So when that question comes that says, so what do you do for a living? You've got an answer that just rolls off your tongue like butter. But I get it. It's hard. But it does work. And it doesn't have to suck, I promise. At CWC, we make sure that leaders are empowered to make the impact they want and love their jobs again. And if you're one of the people that I talk to every single day that's cruising the job boards and hoping that you get a response back, stop, dive in, learn how to have an authentic conversation and make that your primary focus. Check out the link in this post and you can get to our website to see a ton of free resources that are going to help you with this. And you can also schedule a consult with me so we can see what it's going to take to get your career back on track. I'm Tammy Alvarez and I'll see you on the inside.